Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to our video presentations for subject Fundamental of Operations Research and the task that I have given to us is about the line model. But before that, let's meet all the team members. From the map, it's clearly that the location of McDonald's was strategic because it's surrounded by main road, residential area, government buildings, shop blocks, and etc. Here is all the surface. First stop is order section where the customer can communicate with the staff in the McDonald's and have their order. The second one is for payment which the customer can pay either by cash or card. And last stop is where the customer can pick up their order. So we gonna to explain about the description on the characteristics of the selected system which is the arrival characteristics, waiting line characteristics, service facility characteristics and basic queuing system configuration. First thing that I want to share is the arrival characteristics. We found that the size of calling population is infinite which is unlimited. It can be seen where the cars arriving at the drive through at any time. Then the pattern of arrivals at system follows the poison distribution which is lambda equal to 3 customers per minute. Next, we can see that the behavior of arrivals at this is patient customer. They wait in the queue until they are served because they need to be patient to get their food. Second, we move to the waiting line characteristics. We can see that the length of a line is unlimited because staff at the drive through will serve all the customers that has wait in the line. For QV discipline, the order of customers are served is first in first out. The customer that arrive first in the waiting line will be the first served and they can be the first out. Next, for the service facility characteristic, there are two configurations of the service system which are number of channels and the number of phases. For the number of channels, it is a multi-channel system while the number of phases is a multi-phase system. The pattern of service time will follow the exponential distribution which is mu equals to 2 customers per 3 minutes. For the basic queuing system configurations, it is a multi-channel to multi-phase system. Now, we are going to show the calculation of our multi-channel queuing system. For the first one, we have to find the utilization factors by using the formula of P is equal to lambda over number of servers as 9 mu and we get 3 over 4. 
For the second question, we need to find the probability that there are zero customers in the system. In order to find that, we need to find the utilization factor which is 0.75. After that, we need to insert the formula of formula, I mean formula, we need to insert the formula into the P0. You can watch the formula itself, the calculation itself. After we calculate, the probability that there are zero customers in the system would be 1 over 7. We also calculate the average number of customers in the system and we use the formula of LQ uh, equal to P times lambda over mu uh, power of S times P0 over S factorial times 1 minus P power of 2 and we found that the average uh, number of customers in the system is 27 per 14 or 1.93 customers per minute. In order to find the average number of customer in the system, we need to use the average number of customer in Q, LQ plus lambda over mu and we get 24 over 7. Alright, next, the average time a customer spend in the system. So in the solution, we can use the formula is the average number of customer in the system divided by the arrival rate. So equal to 24 over 7 divided by 1. So we can get the, the waiting time for a customer in the system is 3.87. Alright, so the last one is the average time a customer spend waiting in the queue. So the solution is we can use the formula of the average number of customer in the queue divided by the arrival rate. So the solution is equal to uh, 27 over 14 divided by 1. So we can get the waiting time of customer in queuing is 1.93. Alright, so the last one is conclusion. Based on our project, we conclude that the number of server of McDonald's is adequate. Yes, consequently, customers are so happy and satisfied with their rapid service. We have learned that we can understand about queuing formulas to compute operating characteristic more clearly and roughly. We can manage to describe the performance of queuing system of a waiting line drive through while we doing this project we know that if the average service rate mu is more than at the average arrival rate lambda so the customers are served at the faster rate they arrive which is the service will be fast but then if the lambda is more than the mu so the queue will be get larger and the larger indefinitely in other hands the service will be slow all right everyone so this is the video about the customer service feedback. Watch it. Okay, Assalamualaikum, Miss. Okay, um, first of all, thank you because you are willing to participate into our uh, group assignment. And I'm going to ask a few questions. Uh, so, first question is, uh, so for now, uh, did, uh, do you sat satisfy uh, with the services that uh, they provide for the customer? Okay, uh, so why did you choose uh, this lady? I mean, like uh, the McDonald at Ipoh Perak at here rather than another McDonald. Okay, uh, thank you for the feedback. Thank you, miss. 